journey over here. Yes. What is up, y'all? This is your girl Trinity, and I am back with another freaking video. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Today, we're going to do a reading for the collective, just messages and guidance that you might need to hear um, regarding your current situation for the month, for the year, for the day, for the week. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. And let's get right into it. Spirit guides and ancestors, I just ask that you use me as a vessel of love and light to transmit the messages that the collective needs to hear. Messages and guidance for the collective. What is it that they need to hear or know right now? Messages and guidance for the collective. How have y'all been? With everything that is going down, I have seen that some states and countries are on like full lockdown where you can't, they got curfews still and they're not letting anyone do anything. Maybe this is explaining how you guys are currently feeling as a collective, suffering in silence. Well, let me just tell you, you're not alone. Messages and guidance for the collective. I'm over here looking like somebody's whole granny. That's too many cards. Oh, whoa. That's too many cards. But we had hope and new beginnings that flipped over in the deck. And something else just flipped over, too. Let's see. Oh, I guess not. I could have swore that card flipped over. Oh. There was a card that flipped over. Mental conflict. Moving on. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like as a collector, there's going to be a lot of moving. Um, now, this doesn't have to necessarily mean like a physical move. It could mean moving on from relationships, moving on from jobs, moving on from old habits moving on it could mean an actual move heart chakra is the bottom energy spit the deck emotional loss so maybe this for some of us i feel like it is going to be walking away from a partnership um like i said that could be a romantic partnership it could be um family it could be a friendship or maybe some of you are leaving. Mm, I don't feel like anyone's leaving their job. If anything, I feel like the majority of you that are watching either do not have one or are looking or maybe have just picked up a job or a new job. Okay, so we have hope. New beginnings, mental conflict, and moving on. And with hope, it has the number 17 on the top. One plus seven is eight. That number eight to me, well, signifies positive movement forward, which to me is moving on. Six is a number of change as well, um, more so the number five, but six is a number of movement and change. Um, we have temperance here in reverse. Um, six of wands. We have Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hier the Hierophant. Hierophant. Okay, sorry y'all. I had to make sure that my sound was up and running. Um, the, I had to make sure that my sound was working right, so I stopped the video for a moment. Sound is good. Um... So yeah, with temperance here in reverse, you might be feeling like things are a little bit um, imbalanced or unbalanced um, in your life right now. It could be finances, but I feel like it might more so be um, 
mental clarity here. You're not sure what decision to make. I'm not sure what decision it is that need to be ma that needs to be made. Take that as it resonates. But you are very supported in whatever decision. I feel like this is more so spiritual support from your spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever you believe in. You are very you're being backed by those energies, those entities. Um, some of you might actually be being um, supported through family members, friends, co-workers, whatever. Um, but I feel like for the majority of you, the decision you're making is best for you, so no one else is going to understand. So you might even get a little bit of backlash for it. But you are, you're divinely guided is what I'm hearing. And the Ten of Wands, Spirit is saying that this shit's not going to be easy. You're going to have to fight for what you, not fight, but you're going to have to, essentially, yeah, you're going to have to fight yourself is what I'm hearing to move forward. Um, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of exhaustion here. Um, some of you are feeling like, God damn, I am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm putting in my all. What the fuck? When is this blessing going to come in? I'm telling you not to give up because the minute you want to give up, that's the minute you give up. That's normally when the blessing would have come in. And now you're sitting there like, what the fuck? And the situation is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, and sometimes we're even forced out of the situation that we're in to get into the situation that we need to be in. So if you're in that situation and everything looks like it's falling to shit, don't even trip because something is better is coming. It don't look like that now, but if you change your attitude now, you have the power to change the course of what's happening and your destiny, if that makes sense. Um, with the Ace of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy... So you could be dealing with, you could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, but there's definitely some new creative ideas coming in for you. Um, there's new growth, see here, with the swords has to do a lot with the mental, and then if you see the vines kind of growing, so to speak, and then it, the sword is crowned, like... I feel like you're stepping into who you are. There is a lot of confusion because I feel like a lot of us are going through an awakening. Um, and so we're teeter tottering be between that old self and the new self. Um, so put your crown on and walk forward in your decisions and, and firm because this hand that's sticking out is very firm. Like, this is it. This is what's up. So stay in that. Um, that energy you know respectfully but stay in that energy and do what's best for you um the knight of cups could mean that somebody is coming in with an offer um it could mean a romantic offer it could mean um a business partnership it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic and um because this is <clears throat> the knight of cups is a slower moving knight it he this person is going to be taking some time. This 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 partnership could take some time to develop. This offer could take some time to get to you. So be patient. Um, continue working on what you need to work on. Accomplish the goals that you can accomplish right now with what you have. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is coming full circle. What goes up must come down, which means if you have been sowing good seed, you're about to reap those benefits, just like I said. I'm actually going to pull another card here just to even things out. Oops. Those are way too many. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Y'all saw that flip out the deck. So four of pentacles is the bottom energy. Some of you might be hanging on to finances too tight or someone else too tight. Spirit is saying, loosen your grip. Loosen your grip, man. And uh, some of you might be seeking um, spiritual advice, which is probably why you're here. <laughs> um, but some of you might be seeking a spiritual counselor, teacher, some sort of spiritual guidance. Some of you might even be, be becoming the Hierophant here right yeah some of you are coming into that um this is you this is your energy and let me just for some of you i don't know who this is for but i'm feeling like spirit saying the reason why you've been through everything you've been through and this is probably for everyone but whoever will receive it the reason why you've been through what you've been through is because somebody else needs your help somebody else is going to 
you're being called because in order to be a teacher, you have to know and you have to experience. You're a better teacher when you've experienced the pain, when you've experienced the joy, when you've experienced the success, when you've experienced the losses. You're a better teacher because you can teach from personal experience, FYI. So start being grateful for your pain. Start being grateful for your past. Appreciate where you are now, especially, and know that you know, you're not always keep in mind that you're not that person that you were. So be grateful for that. Even if everything else looks like shit, like, God damn, I came a long way. I'm not her. I'm not him anymore. You know? And fuck what everybody else says because they don't even know who the new you is. So when I pulled out that last card, what I tell you, everything is going to be all right. There are some new beginnings. The Ace of Cups. Look at this cup overflowing. A, a seed is being planted. This represents the womb. This does, Some of you could be getting pregnant. Some of you could desire to be getting pregnant or having babies, whatever. But this is not necessarily the truth. I don't see any cards su supporting pregnancy right here. But this is a womb. This is a seed being planted. This is ideas. This is a hand receiving the blessings of that pregnancy. So there is new beginnings happening here. There are blessings and abundance coming to you. You just need to believe, wholeheartedly believe and stay in those high vibrations. I know I always say this all the time, but when I tell you I'm telling the truth, I'm telling the fucking truth. Um, so go ahead, I'm, you know what, this is so random, but if you can think of a question right now that you or a situation that um, you've been kind of worried about or something like that, go ahead and do so now. And while I'm shuffling, um, you can go ahead and think about that. And then when I pull the card, you can just take it as it resonates. If that makes sense. Hopefully that made sense. Y'all I'm jamming over here with these chill coffee shop vibes. Here we go. We're going to get some answers for you. I don't know why, but I'm hearing to pull three cards. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Ooh, these cards almost fell all up on the floor. All up on the floor. Don't ask me. And there we go. Bottom energy. Perfect timing. But we have, whoa, we have no with an exc exclamation, just a regular no, and if you believe. So I don't know if that was very confusing. <laughs> that to me is confusing because I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates. There may have been three questions and, and I'm feeling like there are several different, there are several different people that needed an answer and... Here's your guys' answer, if that makes sense. I don't know. Obviously, there's several different people that need an answer. It's a collective reading. <sighs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> so, no, no, and if you believe. I'm confused. So, somebody, comment down below if you feel comfortable. <laughs> you don't got to tell the details of your situation, but I mean, can, can you explain that without... I don't know. <laughs> but anyways... And since most of us are, are wondering about our love lives, I'll go ahead and pull. I know I'm like all over the place, you guys. I'm so sorry. And so let's see what's going on in terms of love for the collective today. I know I just did a love reading yesterday. But I know during these times, I'm going to take those two. During these times, I know people, a lot of people want a loved one next to them. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are wondering. I mean, people wonder about love in general. But I know a lot of people are like, when's my soulmate coming in? Or is my ex coming back? Or is this relationship I'm in now okay? Like, everybody's freaking out because you know of everything that's going on. Um, bottom energy here says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And the two, the, whoa, 
four cards fell out. So we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for a small few of you, there are some childhood traumas that um, root chakra needs to be unblocked, realigned. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you guys need to take your honey on a honeymoon and get away so you guys can reconnect and rekindle that energy. Rekindle some new positive energy. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. Some of you are single. <clears throat> and some of you are in some shitty ass relationships. And Spirit's here to tell you, you deserve better. You deserve to be loved. You are worthy. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now, this does not necessarily have to mean that you're marrying someone else. You could be, mar be getting, how, how would I say, marrying yourself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're, and I know that sounds weird, but when you're self-loving, like, <laughs> you feel me? Like, would you marry yourself? Because if you wouldn't marry yourself, then there's a problem. There's some shit that needs to be fixed. But anyways, some of you are actually getting married. There could be an engagement happening. Or some of you, you know, are actually planning a wedding. So congratulations for whoever this is for. Awesome sauce. Anyways, that is all that I'm getting for the collective today. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. Y'all can follow me on social media at I am Trinity 33 <clears throat> on Instagram. Um, I think it's the same on Snapchat. I'll post all that down below. Probably just my Instagram because that's the one that I'm really active on in Snapchat. But anyways, y'all, I am now open for private readings. I am working on my website currently. Hopefully it'll be done in the next like month or so or less. Um, but yeah, uh. That way you guys can um, book your private readings through there instead of DMing me, which is fine too. So and from now until, in the meantime, in between time, just go ahead and message me on my social medias. If you're already following me, then you already have that access. If not, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I am Trinity33. Subscribe to my channel for more of these daily collective readings. And then, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have, y'all. Uh, sending love, light, and clarity to you all. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. I will see you all in the next video.